I went for more Spyro adventure. introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi, I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gym cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What? Is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. There are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's going to help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look. There's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's Worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? If you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. Yes. Avalar is full of mind readers. You could be able to tell that you wanted to get to Dragon Shores just by introducing Spyro's name. And the money bags already need to seem to know. Oh well. I'll try not to think about this too hard, Lord here. It's just a game. Wait. Basic, usual, um, level adventure tactics. Find every gem and actively avoid everybody before you get all the gems in the area you're currently in. Nice plan, but... Oop. Yes. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Right here. Da -da -da. Hello! Spyro! This is the homeworld called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you go to. Mm, okay. Unread! This is deliberate, because there are gems here. Like those on the stairs and that one over there. Grab. And that one there. Right, back up the stairs again. It's like Pokemon all over again. Gotta collect them all. Oh hello. Hi you Spyro! Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across oh, dear. it. Press X to jump, then press X Very again while you're still in the air to did. glide. Oh well. I'm not there to complain. Yeah. Oh, fairy thing, I forget your name. Sparks, oh, Zoe. The dragonfly Zoe. following Zoe. you around fairy is your health Zoe. indicator, Spyro. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have. <laughs> I always keep my friend healthy. So, anyway. I can swim along the water at the moment, but I can't dive yet. I have to pay, um, Greedy Bear about 500 gems yet, then. As much as I want to look at this, I can't get to 500 gems. With the amount of gems I can collect in Gym Glimmer and the, uh, Summer Forest that I can get to, without going to a different world first. It's complicated, and that's come from many 
play through. Hi, Spyro. Of this. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. Basic See if you can get up this first step. This. Press X and hold it down to get more hang time. Oh, well, that was easy. What's next, Hunter? Okay, not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Gliding. Press X to jump. A bit then press X again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. Right. Up. Glide. There we go. What's next? Nice job. Now try to do a hover. Press Hovering. X to jump. Then press Instead X again to glide. When you then when you reach the you end of your glide, now. press triangle to hover. So Hovering will give you extra side. height and distance. Oh well. Up. Oh. Whoops. Um. Deliberate. I want to, want to um, cut the gems that were around here. Yes. You aren't believing me. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go have a look at. Up, up, up. Right, hold down X for hang time. Glide with X and X. To hover. Oh, hush up, Hunter. I know what I have to do. Glide and then a triangle at the end of my jump. There. I just had a bit of a whoopsie. Very I good. Up the now edge. for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start. Jump, glide, and hover I like just to have before a you get to start, the edge of the platform. I'll Don't walk. forget to press forward on the D-pad so, or analog walk. stick when you hover. Okay. Oop. Right. Come on. Right. Oop. Done like wow, a professional. you're a pretty good athlete. Not like a if I hadn't yeah. lost my running shoes, I'd take you on I'm for trying real. To talk, for now, Hunter. here's an orb for your collection. Yes, done like true professional, not somebody who's fumbling around with the controller. Uh, ooh, gems. Right, I think... This is pretty much a good time to go to my first world. Now, if I remember correctly, Idle Springs had a divey bit in it, so I'll go here first. Colossus. Colossus? Yeah. want to go in there either. Okay, this is Colossus. Check, check behind you if there's any gems, then go forward. A yeti has been rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. Yeah, I guess so. Right, first of all... Though he seems to be very, um, defenseless against flaming attack. Oh, a penguin! Right. Oop. Hello, By concentrating, Brother Arnie. I should be able to open this door for you. Oh, okay. Oi, oi, oi. Yes. The, the most ridiculous noise. It's his chanting, yes. To me, it's just a ridiculous noise. Bull, is it a yak? I don't know. It's very round. That's all I can tell. Look at the penguin! Hello! You are very big eyebrows. Who needs a key when you know how to chant like this? Yes. Enemies like those yaks are too big to be charged. Oh, they Your yaks. flame attack should easily take care of large yeah, enemies. Yeah, of course, I knew that already. <laughs> and that's also deliberate. Usually there's a hole. If it's not a pit, you'll get those gems in there. 
It's just the same that I've been playing on these way too long. How many nerve points does that have? Oh, uh, 11. Each time you defeat an enemy, it will release a spirit particle. Hello, Miss The spirit Sorry. particles will activate the power-up in that world. If a power-up is inactive, you need to defeat more enemies. More gem collecting, nothing much here, and oh dear. Hey, look what I can do! Curtis. What do you do? But I'm gonna go for- oh, you move the pillar. But I'm gonna collect this butterfly so I can have an extra life. Ding! Then I'm gonna get these ones. Oh, smashy, smashy. Right, hey! I was about to jump on that. Okay, just wait here. Okay. Remember Hunter's advice? You will glide farthest if you press the X button at the very top of your jump. Better be the last time you remind me of that. I know. You press X at the top of your jump. I remember that from the uh, Dragon Guide in previous Spyro. It was way cooler. Exactly. Oh, where's the effort? I just thought it was uh, going to go uh, to the next, just in case he feels lonely. Even though I'm a vegetarian, I think you should kill that yeti. He's pretty tough though. In fact, I'm not so sure you're up to it. Okay, that's conflicting, but... Oh. Hello, Mr. Yeti. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, well, that was very silly of you. I thought the but yeti was tougher there. than that. I guess he was all bark. Ro -ro. <laughs> anyway, I was just guarding Tucker our secret talisman to make sure word. the Yeti didn't um, eat it. Smarter is probably a, the more appropriate word. Hm, I'm gonna go smash on the floor, and the thing that's loose above me won't fall from down and fall on top of me. Oh no no no! Um, right, Ooh, ice. Let's slide on the ice rocks. La, 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 la. This is actually harder than it looks. Right, collect gems, collect gems, collecting gems. Ah, gems collected. 